Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Heather Spears and welcome in. So as always, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. As you can probably tell by the title, um, today I am actually starting a little series where I am going to be making my summer wardrobe. Today's outfit is inspired by plumerias because it's such a beautiful tropical summer-like flower and tomorrow is National Plumeria Day. I know probably not a lot of people know that. I didn't know that until our Arboretum said so, so that's what it is all about. So without further ado, let me get into um, making the outfit and showing you guys kind of lightly what the process is and then taking it out and wearing it. <laughs> so let's get started. <laughs> So real quick, before we get started on today's video, I just need to say that I am currently in the process of a really, really huge project. So the project I'm working on actually isn't sewing related, it's a totally different kind of DIY, but I am bringing that to my channel soon too, which is redoing the shed in my backyard to a sewing studio. So I hope you join me for that too. I did want to say that really quick before jumping into this video, because you'll notice that it is in a completely different format than usual. I'm not taking things step by step. I'm pretty much just making this outfit and showing you guys kind of making my summer wardrobe, I suppose, in this little mini series while I work on that on the side. I just redid my nephew's um, nursery. That was my old sewing space. So this is a huge and important project to me. So you'll notice, I'm not gonna say a lack of sewing, but not quite step by step. This is how you do it in this particular series of making my summer wardrobe. So. I did want to put that in here also before we jump in, but um, let me get into showing you guys making this cute outfit. I'll tell you, the fabric is super special. Like I said before, the fabric's super special on this one. I had no idea. I had originally got this fabric to for my sister's trip to Hawaii. I made her a dress. Um, you can see it here. That is the dress I made her out of this fabric. And um, I had some spare left over and I thought, oh, I want a summer look out of this too. So that's why I kind of chose this fabric. While she was in Hawaii, she did notice that the fabric itself is Tommy Bahama fabric, which is so cool. I had no idea when I got it. Usually when I shop for fabric, I get it at um, this Fit em Thought Scholarship store, which they get donations of fabric in. So that must be where the fabric came from, which so cool to see fabric that I have, you know, actually out there in the store. And now I have kind of my own little makeshift of Tommy Bahama <laughs> inspired outfit, I suppose. But um, yeah, so that's kind of a cool little tidbit on this one. So most of the design aesthetic of this one did come in draping the fabric on the mannequin, which is totally my favorite way of doing things. I always feel like my favorite outfits that I make are ones that I go straight to the mannequin and start draping fabric, and that's what I did with this one because I was working with such a limited amount of material. This was, like I said, scrap from my sister's look, so it was kind of like, you know, work with what you got and make something cool out of it. And I think I got something that I really um, like. I really like the look of it, but I haven't tried it on yet, which is what I'm going to do next. So I'm not just made up today <laughs> to come talk to you. I am actually going to the Arboretum, which is where I found out that it is um, National Plumeria Day or something. They have a really, really cute Plumeria garden, and I know that the fabric that I used has plumeria flowers on it, so I thought it'd be the perfect place to wear this. I have yet to try it on. I have yet to kind of see if it works. I think it does. So next, I'm gonna be putting on this outfit, coming back, showing you guys how it looks, and then going out for a special day with my sister at the Arboretum, so the LA Arboretum. So that will be so fun. So this is it all finished. It is all sewn. I do have it pinned on the mannequin, but that is basically what we're getting the final look to be. I did have a pattern for um, the bottoms here that I had made before you probably saw there. And then here is what the back of the top looks like, which is pretty cool, I think. I really like the back of this top. I made it s this strap here so that it doesn't slip down. And honestly, since you'll see that the the top here is crisscrossed, 
when I take this off, it's kind of hard to tell where it's supposed to go, or it was at least until I added this extra strap. So now it's so easy to see where it's supposed to go. If you've ever done like a scarf top, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So that's just to kind of keep it um, where it's supposed to be once I throw it in the washer. But yeah, that's it. So I have the outfit on for the first time ever and I really do like it. I am so glad that it fit because there's always this little nervous patch where I'm like, oh no, is this going to work or not? So I am so happy that it fits so well and that it's actually really, really comfortable and I think it's really cute. This is so my usual personal style and I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. One of the things that is a little different than I had originally intended to do that I might actually like a little bit better is walking in from a distance. I think this two-piece set looks a little bit like a jumpsuit, which is kind of cool. Now, it's like a jumpsuit without the trouble of a jumpsuit. It is always so hard to get a jumpsuit on and off to like use the restroom or you know anything like that. So this has, it is a two-piece set, so it is easy for me to detach and do all of that, but it does have that overall appearance of a jumpsuit, which I think is so, so cute. I really like the way this turned out. And like I said, it matches my usual personal style. This is what I kind of aim to do more often than I actually probably do do. But um, yeah, so I like the outfit and I hope you do too. So next, I am going to be wearing this out to a special event. Like I said, I'm going to the LAR Breedum. There's a members only event that is a Plumeria festival or something along those lines. That I'm going to hope that this is an appropriate outfit to wear too because that's where I'm going. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of that, take some pictures, and then close it out for today. So that is it for today's video. If you saw anything that you like, please remember to give me a thumbs up so that I know. And if you'd like to come along with me, check out some DIYs, some other stuff that I make and things like that, hit that subscribe button and you're always welcome to join me. I always appreciate it. Until next time, guys. Bye. Ah, oh, fly. I hope you can't see or hear that on camera. There's a fly in here. I was choosing this one. That, whoa, that was close. Oh, can I get out of here? Ah, just go. Just go. I don't want to sweat you. Go. Go. Go away.